All over the world, the mother is the foundation of the home, yet hundreds of thousands of women around the world die each year giving life. In Peru, however, that's changing. Maternal mortality has been reduced by 50% in Ayacucho due to a stronger referral system, more training for healthcare workers, and more encouragement to deliver at a health facility where customs are honored and indigenous language is spoken. Thank God my community has started to change little by little with the help of Care Peru, an NGO that has come to support us. Prior to that, I wanted to leave this place. I didn't like it in here. There was no water, no electric power, there was a lot of dust and diarrhea diseases among children. And you couldn't imagine how poverty was. No matter where a country is with regards to the quality and extent of its health care coverage, Basic but targeted, cost-effective interventions can produce dramatic results and save lives. When I got pregnant, I was able to go to the medical center for free. I could have free checkups the nine full months. They would not charge me anything. For the delivery, I went to the medical center and they came and took me in a car as an emergency and they didn't charge me a cent. Why? Because the organization is more massive. The organization said, we help you and you help yourself, so this can be faster. So I think there's a partnership that perhaps I've never seen as clearly demonstrated as this trip. It is the woman, it's the mother, it's the wife that's really carrying an enormous burden. And if you improve her life, you make her safe when she's delivering that child, then you return her as a healthy mother to her family. That's the, really the strongest connection. If you said, you know, what can we do that really makes a difference, it would be improve the life of the mother. We are not able to show change in a picture. Change has been an evolution, little by little, and we have been able to see the change and we have liked it. It's working with the people that are, that are in these villages and particularly today, the things we saw today, there's a great sense of optimism from the people who live here.